put that there. That should be good. This I can probably just put down. Yep, there we go. Okay, I think we're good in that regard. The question is, is the microphone going to be in the right spot for this? I have to maintain a specific posture in order for this to work, and I don't know whether I can do it or not. We shall see. So fine. And that's fine. I just hope the volume's okay for me. thought. I thought I could use the platform I've got my computer on as a, well, yeah, a platform so that I can uh, keep my phone right there. But it didn't exactly work out. Oops. Oh, yeah. There we go. Um, we will get started in say two minutes. Again, I just hope the volume's okay. I think it is. We'll find out shortly. Hey, Garrick, how's it going? Just about ready to get started in about one minute. And hey, Conker, how's it going? Okay. Uh, lean back. Lean back. Stretch your body. Okay, about that time. Get these fingers ready. Because normally I only got to play with my thumbs. This time my thumbs can take a break. That's nice. <clears throat> How you doing, everybody? My name is Monochromium, and this is Gothic. This is an action RPG that came out in 2001, and it was suggested for the stream through by Garrick Zero, who happens to be in the chat right now. Um, feel free to say hello again if you'd like, Garrick. 
and anyone else who is in the chat that would like to say hello, feel free. Because you're on YouTube now, um, before we get started with this, um, just a couple of things to go over. One, if my voice sounds just a little bit different, it's because I had to kind of finagle my setup a little bit to make sure that I um, can play this comfortably with the keyboard on my laptop without having to like arc my back to do it, which is why it, I, I might sound slightly different. I don't think I'll, excuse me, sound that different, um, but just know that while I'm playing this game for you and you're enjoying yourself, I am stuck in a tangled mess of a Rube Goldberg machine sort of setup where I can hardly move for <laughs> two hours, so that'll be something. No, I'm, I'm exaggerating. I'm making it sound worse than it actually is, but the point is is that in addition to all the patching and stuff I had to do for the game to get it to work for the stream, I also had to set up my, well, set up uh, differently in order for this to work, but it should work now, so we should be good. Now, if only I could find a way to, uh, get it so that the mouse would work without me having to arc my arm up next to the microphone. It would be good. Anyway, that's the first thing. Second thing, um, going into this completely blind, um, I know two things about it. One, it's an old school action RPG, like I said, and two, as I mentioned, it's a pain in the ass to get started on my computer, because my computer is Windows 10, and this game <laughs> came out about when Windows XP was just starting to get ready to go public, so... I uh, had to jump through some hoops to get it to work, but hopefully everything should be okay. I got the settings so that it's on 720p, but we should be good. So, without further ado, this game's English dub is hot. <laughs> we shall see. I mean, the voice acting that I heard from the opening cutscene seemed pretty good from what I've heard, and that's literally as far as I've gone, is just the opening cutscene in the first little area so that I could get a feel for the controls. Uh, but we'll go from there. It's a little complicated, Conquer, but we will... We won't worry about the, the hardware setup. We're right now, I'm most worried about the software setup and hope to God that this works okay. But without further ado, let's see how we do with this. Start a new game. Maybe I can get his knight armor by the time we're done. The kingdom of Murtana, united by King Rovar II. Now my window says not responding. During the long years of his reign, he was so if there's to supposed to be video, all foes of his realm, I think I might have a problem. All except one. Yeah, there's definitely supposed to be video right now. Stand by. Technical difficulties. Do not use DX11 patch if you do disable rain. I didn't even know there was a DX11 patch actually there. But uh, thanks for the warning there, Toxin. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Stand by, technical difficulties. Close that window. Try again. Let's try this again. Okay, so that's attempt one. <laughs> Didn't work. Now attempt two. Naziwam say Diego. Well, I know who Diego is, so I don't know what the rest of that means, but I know who Diego is. Okay. Attempt two. Um, <clears throat> I said attempt two. There we go. Nope, same thing. Okay, hold on. The kingdom of Murtana, united by King Robar the second. Can I go out of it? During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all Task manager. of his realm. God damn it. Where's my mouse? What the hell? All except one. My mouse is not responding. Well, that's great. Oh. I'm Diego. I don't, I'm, I'm I don't not know what just happened, but are. the window is... You've just arrived. Whatever it is. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. Am I launching from Steam? No, I uh, did the uh, talk to me. the whole patch but thing. There's my I mouse. Keep you from choosing your own destruction. There's my mouse. Well, I did the patch where I can launch it from uh, my desktop, so that's why. Um, and it should be yeah, location gothicfix.exe. So it should be working. Keyword is should. Oh. 
cutscenes are very rare anyway, just give it a show it on YouTube. Well, that's the thing, is that I, I uh, export the raw footage to YouTube, so we will have to go there. Cutscene on streamer devices does not work. Well, I will keep trying it just a little bit. Maybe we could do it with the play intro option there. Let's see. Okay, well, that's a better sign. The kingdom of Murtano, united by King Robar II. There we go. Okay. Is it working now? I'm pretty sure it's working. He was able to defeat all foes of his realm. I mean, it won't be blown all up 1280 by 720 one. because obviously the game wasn't made for that, but... The Orc Legion! Uh, guys, you're supposed to fire those arrows from behind a phalanx shield. Just, just saying, that's the most effective way to do it. It's working now. Good, good. Good start. Only took three, the four attempts. We're good. Orcs took its toll. It took twenty attempts to get this to work when I was testing it. So <laughs> to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army, and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinus. Great. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom. To create a magic barrier around the entire valley. I but what if there's a mage trapped them. in there? Uh, something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. And what was that something? We were trapped oh, it made a firework. Inside our own barrier. So you're under the dome now. One That's just great. Negligence was enough for the yeah, they weren't trained very well on defense. <laughs> Neither were those guards because that guy just got pickaxed. What the hell? The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. For month after month, why didn't he just treat for peace? The prisoners with needed. Whoever he's month pouring month, with. They brought the ore to the edge of the barrier in oh. exchange. I suppose orcs don't really treat in most of these games. Are they sending a whore down? Until really? The day, another convict was brought. What to is the this GTA? He did not know, but he would change everything. Yeah, stealth attack from a pickaxe to Baltus. <laughs> Only in Dark Souls. Verant, I sentence this convict and this game. Apparently. Stop, convict. I've got an offer to make you. You know, I have this a name. Must reach the leader of the magicians of fire. You're wasting your time. You may choose your own reward. They'll give you anything you ask for. I don't believe you. Very well. I'll take your letter. Apparently, he does though. On one condition. Spare me the rest of his nonsense. <laughs> How dare Keep silent. Right. Send him in. Was that a dying giraffe or something? What the hell? <laughs> that handsome man's face. Welcome to the colony. Welcome to Prison Planet, bitch! That's enough. Leave him alone. And now. Does it get you every time? <laughs> get up. What, you're not even going to offer me a hand? There we I'm go. I'm Diego. Hi, Diego. I'm, I'm not interested in who you are. Ha! <laughs> You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? I think if the dome keeps being set on lightning like that, we're all going to die eventually. Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the Colony. You'll know already that we produce ore for the king. Well, at least we do. Yeah, my name is... Uh, there are three parentheses camps convict. We don't have a name. The old camp is the biggest, and it was the first. Hmm. Okay, so I'm guessing you want me to go to the old camp then. How do I get to the old camp? You just follow this path. The old camp is the next reasonably safe looking place you'll come across. There are <laughs> reasonably a lot safe. Of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. So, yeah, where do I get one? Where do I get a weapon? When you get to the old mine, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something. It's basically useful. Australia. <laughs> it's easy to find. It's uh, just well, a few yeah, I guess. Uh, 
1800s Australia, yeah, because it was still a, a British prison colony, basically, wasn't it at that point? Or did they establish independence by then? I don't know. They don't teach Australian history in United States uh, schools. Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Otherwise, Bullet and his boys might have killed you. And hmm. I couldn't just stand by and watch. Because I came all this way to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes. After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the yes, old true. camp is yes, the true. best <laughs> place for them. Yes, and reasonably safe looking. So, Bullet's obviously not a cool guy. What camp is he a part of? Where's Bullet now? He and the others bring the goods from the outside world into the camp. You'll find him there, but if you plan to fight him, be careful. He's an experienced warrior. By the camp, do you mean the old camp? Because he just punched me in the face. Why the hell would I want to join the old camp when the old camp's first experience with me was punching me in the face? <laughs> um... I don't know this dude, but he seems reasonably nice. We can tell him, I think, about the, the letter. I have a letter for the high magician. There is a guy who offers fire. you a beer. <laughs> really? I was given it by a mage. We'll have to look for him. He threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. How That's convenient. the mages pay their couriers a lot. And most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Mm. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. So I would need to get in well with this Gomez character then, right? Now, that means that the mages are in the old camp as well, so are they, are they not a separate faction here? Or what? And then I guess the better question is, would gold, because they pay a lot, right? But would gold get you anything in a prison colony? Wouldn't the barter system take over because there'd be no the economy? You'd just kind of sit on the gold pieces like a dragon or something? I mean, I don't, I don't know. But anyway, let's, let's see who Gomez is first. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. And if I want to meet him and perhaps join him, what do I need to do? Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. Okay. Well, thanks for the help. I guess I got a good amount of information from that, so that should thanks help. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. Okay. So we have Chapter 1. Welcome to the colony. I don't know how many chapters there are, but we'll we'll figure it out. Okay, so we could probably follow Diego, and we might even catch up with him eventually, but first things first, let's go looking around. Oh, hey, look, a torch. So how do you pick up items in this game? Well, I found out that you have to stand over the item, hold the action button, and then walk towards it, and that will pick it up. That was just from experimenting around. I, I had to figure it out before I got this started because I was like, well, if I don't know how to pick up items, I'm going to be screwed. So let's not do that. So we have a torch. Now, my inventory was E. I set it up to be. No, that's status. This is inventory. Here we go. Miscellaneous torch. No. Can I equip that? Let's see. I don't think you equip the torch, though. Or maybe you do. There we go. And let's just get out of that. There we go. So I have a torch now. So that's a thing. Can I light this on fire? I can. Cool. Okay, well, that's good to know. Um, you don't want to go that way, because if you go that way, well, it, it won't end well for you. But we probably don't need the torch out for right now. Let's just, uh... Let's see. What did I do to equip the damn thing? <laughs> Here's the trouble that you start to run into as you do this, is that... Uh, actually, hang on. What if I do... Nope. Okay. That's not exactly what I wanted to do, but... 
I can do this and then pick up the torch again. Oh, okay, so it's just equipped anyway. All right, I'll I'll hold on to it for now. Then I was gonna say let's put it away till we get to some place where I actually need it, but for now we don't really need it. So control or mouse one and W. Mouse one and W. So hold control. Control, put it away. Huh. Well, I'll figure it out later. Not a big deal. But we can light this. There we go. I'll just run around lighting things like an Olympic torch sprinter. That'd be fine. God, the flickering's gonna get to my eyes, though. Holy cow. Hello there, gentlemen. Uh, do you mind if I light your, light your torch? There you go. Um, can I get on this ladder? Yes, ladder. Oop. Gotta hold the action button. There we go. It's a wonder I don't burn this damn thing down with my torch. Hi there. How do I talk to you? There we go. What are you doing here? Making sure no one gets near the exchange place, especially one of those cutthroats from the new camp. You're the new guy they chucked in today, right? That's, That's me. me. Yep. Then you'd better watch out for the guys from the new camp. I work for the old camp, same as the others you saw at the exchange place. Ah, okay, I assume so you've me. talked to Diego. Exchange place was back that way. Okay, yes I have. Yes I have. Good. Then you know what's what around here. I know not to mess around with you guys. Jesus Christ, look at all those options. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could go through a bunch of these. I'm really... This is the most important thing, though, I think. Actually, well, let's ask this first. And the old camp? The ore barons have everything under control. Next in line to them are the guards. Followed by the shadows. Can't unequip torch if you only have one. Okay. Lowest. That's good to know. Everyone who arrives here starts out as a digger. If you want to become something better than that, you'll have to get accepted as a shadow first. Hmm. Okay. So how do I become a shadow? I mean, I guess I'm a digger now, so I guess if I just work my fingers to the bone, I'll eventually become a shadow if I don't die. Um Why do I have to watch out for the guys from the new camp? Compared also to the lighting new my camp, hair on fire. The Absolutely. It's a quiet, peaceful sort of place. Yes, it's the, the gothic version of the X-Men Pyro. <laughs> from the outside world. Most of the rogues there just steal whatever they need. I'm starting to get a picture then. So, old camp warriors, new camp thieves. Wonder who the third faction is. Hmm. Anyway, when I was washed ashore, one of the guys punched me in the face. They do that to all the newcomers. They call it Standing Godfather. Sounds like oh, a sex position. Are all the guys like that in the old camp? We do have a few suckers, but they won't touch you as long as you pay them protection money. Well, I have no money, so um, that, that could be a problem. I saw a woman being sent down with the goods. Yeah, the ore barons get everything they want. Do you mean to say the king exchanges women for ore? They're convicted criminals too, of course. But if Gomez hadn't asked for them, they'd be sitting in some dungeon or other. I'm not sure what's worse. So why weren't they down here to begin with? Is it like an all-male colony except for the female prisoners they send down? Like, what? Hmm. Anyway. I'm looking for a weapon. There should be some old weapons by the derelict mine further down the canyon. Okay. But don't go and start a war with nothing but a rusty pickaxe for a weapon. Those things are slow and heavy. An inexperienced fighter should never use one of them unless it's an emergency. Well, I'll probably run into something where it will be an emergency, but... You'd yeah. better make sure you reach the old camp in one piece. I mean, you could go with me if you're that worried about it. Hi there. How's it going? Good. None of the rogues from the new camp are to be seen anywhere. Oh, well, good. I, I think that's good anyway. What do you suppose is up here? Just the edge of a canyon? Yeah, it looks like the edge of a canyon. So that's where I came out from, huh? Okay. 
Now let's not take any fall damage unnecessarily here. Whoops. Hey, Mom. I have two checks I have to put in the bank. Okay. Do I have to fill out a form or can I just go through the drive through and they'll do it? Just tell them I want to put it in my checking account? You would have to fill the form out, but they can give you one when you go there. Okay. And a pen if you need one. So maybe you just take something to I write on. I have one. Okay. Alright, well, anyway, let's head this way. Blueberry, even though it's red, don't mind if I do. Meat bug, is that what that's a meal bug? Excuse me. You probably pick one up, but can I pick one up actually? No. I mean, I could probably, you know, light it on fire or something. Let's not. Let's just leave it alone. Yeah, it's mama, cr mama chromium, literally, that's what it is. Not mamo chromium, mama, M-A-M-A, -A, chromium. And then Papa Chromium's upstairs, and, well, my brothers have their own usernames, so. Can't uh, have them do that. Mm, a tumbler. Is that used for lockpicking or something? Well, camera. Take an arrow. I don't know what these things are good for, so. I'll just... Ooh, a beer. Two beers, actually. Can I grab those? Uh, Eleven coins. Four arrows. Another torch. And a lock pick, I would assume. It says pick lock, but you know. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, so that's probably the, the mine that they were talking about there. Pick some berries for myself real quick. Whoop. There we go. Uh, there's the pickaxe they were talking about, too. Alright, let's check it out. Oh, wrong way. Uh, required strength 5, damage 7, 200 weapon, no. Okay, so now that's equipped. Can I unequip the torch now? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. I will hold on to the pickaxe then. We'll re-equip the torch later. Um, like mist, why range vision less than 300%? <laughs> That's the question, Orc Hypocrite. I didn't really change too many graphical settings on it, so we'll have to see how that all goes. Uh, is this locked? Probably. It's not uh, giving me a prompt or anything, so... Well... Graphical stutter, please. I unfortunately have not played Myst either. That's uh, another game that escaped me in my childhood. Most computer games really did in my childhood. I don't know if I'm ready for that. They said the pickaxe is only useful as a weapon in an emergency, so I don't think I want to mess with that. Oh, actually, speaking of which, I have to make a manual save. Press enter to save in this slot. Does it want me to? Yes, it does. Type in my name. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Access violation. That's probably not supposed to happen. Hmm. All right, then. Let's see here. So can I save, or do I have to do all of this in one go? Because uh, this might be problematic. If we have to do it all in one go, especially considering it's a 20-something hour game. Hmm. So can I load? No, I cannot. Well, that's a pain. Um, hmm. 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 Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with trying again. Let's give it another shot. Never heard of this happening to anyone. Well, that's not good, but that sounds about right for my luck. 
united by King Robar the second. This with the escape key? Yes, I can. Okay. I'm Diego. I'm I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from so choosing your own destruction. Skip through well, here. Well, what do you think? This real quick. Okay, we call it well. There are Okay. How do I, I can you skip just, with the escape are... key? That's fine. Where do I When you get the mic? What? Because you... and I a suggestion. Yeah, every I'm here. Where's he in the... But if you There's bullet now so I can stab him with I my pickaxe. I was give your luck. That's be if I Why not? The mate Who's go go man? Let's just at the Okay, we got the journal entry. I I know that if you don't talk to him, we'll meet in the old like camp. about all those options, it gets him pissed off. And I, I don't know if there's like faction affinity or something in this game yet, so I don't want to really, I don't want to piss anybody off if I don't have to. So, let's see. Let's pick this. Whoops, back up. Back. There we go. Pick up the torch. I don't need to use it to light anything right for right now, so we're good. All right, now let's try saving it happens whoops forgot an M okay well that's pretty damning gothic 1.08 K mod has caused an access violation to address blah 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 by attempting to write this error description has been copied to the clipboard use this error to mail it to support at piranabytes.com Hmm. I wish I knew more about coding because I would be able to actually figure out what this is all about if I could actually do coding. Hmm. Let me look it up. Can you guys see what's on my assertion failed? Press end task to abort. Deleting an already deleted ZC object. You're quickly asking people what's happening. Thanks, Garrick. I, uh, I appreciate it. Hopefully, I'll be able to get this fixed, because I really want to play the game for you. I just don't know. Hmm. Let me Let me see if I can find something on the interwebs. That will help. Yeah, just a black screen for now. Yep, I'm I'm looking on the internet to see if there's anything. Um, crash on save. See if there's anything that I can see from going there. Crashes when saving game. It's full of problems. Blah 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 blah. Doesn't affect everyone running Windows. Uh, uh, 7 64 bit computer. Well, this is Windows 7, not Windows 10. Hmm. Go to the installation folder that's in Gothic. If you don't know where it is, right click in the game in the Steam library and select properties, then go to local files, then click browse local files. Once you're in there, create a new subfolder called saves. Okay, that seems simple enough. Let's see. One says need to make save folder. Yeah, so you must have found the same. Uh, help thing that I must have found there, Garrick, so disable antivirus. So that's that's not even on, so that won't be a, a big deal. And DEP. Don't know what DEP is, so it's probably not on either. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, so I need to go to where Gothic is installed, which is in my Steam folder. Steam apps, common, Gothic, Save game one created 7 20 2018. So we don't want that, we want that gone, and we want to put a folder in there. It's called saves. Okay, so that's that. Now let's put that there and try relaunching. Not gonna touch anything outside the window because when I did touch something outside the window, I got in there. 
Department of Environmental Protection. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay, Tabaltus. I'm I'm shooting in the dark here too, so it's no big deal. We'll we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. Yeah, I don't know what the reason is for me not having a save folder. Well, it did have a save folder. It was just titled Save Game One instead of Saves, which is odd. But anyway, here we go again. Take the kingdom what was this Montana, six? Well, United. so we we crashed the desktop what Wilbur. like three times. I'm Diego. Hi Diego. I'm, I'm not. If you plan. Um, and then we had this happening twice, so this is like five or six. Let's do this. Okay, we get call through it, well, the little there are, this. How do I get how to the old you just, camp? Are, just follow the road. Where do I get a weapon? Get, get a pickaxe and make do with that till you get a sword, you, you asshole. A suggestion. Um, yeah, every, I'm here. Where's Bullets? Ian? I can what put my you... pickaxe in his Spain. I have a, I have a letter that I shouldn't be no, telling you about because I don't know I, you from John Doe, know, so... But you seem man. reasonable enough, so... Let's assume I want... At the... Thank you, Diego. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. Chapter 1, Take 6. Here we go. Okay. See you in a little while, Diego. I think he despawns, though. Like, once he goes off screen or something. Whoop. There we go. Maybe. I mean, I could try to... No, I guess I can't follow him because he... Oh, no, there he is. He's right there. Okay, well, let's do this first. Let's make sure that I can save it. Aha! It didn't crash! Good, good. That's a, that's a good sign. Okay, now, let's keep going. Can I follow Diego to the camp? Probably. Does he kill mealbugs on the way to the camp? I'm just, I'm coming with you, dude. Sort of, anyway. Yeah, success. We've done it. We're off and running, boys and girls. Oh, this is the way that... Oh, no, I, I did go this way before. Never mind. Then where... Or rather, how... Oh, you know what? Those meal bugs do have HP. So that means I could probably kill them. If I... Whoop, if I go like this... Okay. Oh, you know, if I can hit them. Okay, I, I got hit one. <laughs> I've killed something! We're off to a good start. Is this gonna be like, um... Do I just have to be in proximity of the enemies to ensure that I hit them? Or is this gonna be like Morrowind where, um... You have a percentage chance of it working? Oh, I need to put my weapon away to go on the ladder. Okay. Use at least two save slots, because you know why! Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure I do that. Hold M1 and press AWSD. Get pickaxe and figure out mechanics. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. We can... Let's talk to this guy, but we'll skip through all of his dialogue. What are you doing here? Making... You're the... That's me. Then you'd... I were... I Since we did that. I'm not sure yes, if this I affects did. anything, but we'll... Why do I compare the new... Just skip right through. And the old... The or every... When I... They do... Oh, we do... It. I saw... Yeah. Do you mean to... There. I'm not... I'm looking. There should be an inex. You'd better make sure you reach the old camp in one piece. Okay. So that's the thing. I'll probably use, like, three save slots since I usually... That's usually how I do it. I'll just save over each one separately. Okay, so I can't get over to wherever that is until I get up that hill. Good to know. Uh, ladder. Oop, too far away. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I need to light these torches for anything for right now. That's a dead meal. But oh, actually, do you drop anything there, little guy? Bug meat. Great. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. I don't know what it does, but I'll take it. It's probably edible. If I cook it or something. Okay. Away we go. I've punched a bug, or two. 
I have picked up blueberries and arrows. So we're off to a good start. Chest in a moment. And is it the same stuff as last? I think it is. I wonder if there's a way to take it a little quicker. Do I, is that the alt and uh, other thing that you said there? Alt and W to climb up, yep. I will keep that in mind. Okay. Because I've changed the hotkeys around just a little bit, Garrick, so it may be slightly different, but I, I think I know which keys uh, are to, uh, to which ones. Words, English, I should have a grasp on this by now. I've only spe spoken it for 27 years. <laughs> uh, let's see. We've got this. There we go. Yeah, the, the, the controls are a little a little wonky, aren't they? Okay. Um, if I name them the same thing, is it going to make a difference? I don't think so. Let's try it. Okay. Well, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to go slap it with my pickaxe and see if something happens. Is that a bear or something? What the hell? Hi. It's a mole rat. Well, I killed it. So that's a good thing. Um, might want to have the torch just for some extra light. Flicker the shadows off, you know what I mean? I didn't turn the brightness up, so I might uh, need a little bit raw meat. Probably don't want to put that in my mouth. Um, rusty sword or nugget. Thank you. And the rusty sword. So that's probably slightly better than the pickaxe, huh? Uh, rice schnapps. It's, somebody's brewing beer up here. Great. Or some kind of alcohol. Uh, rusty ass sword. Let's see. Damage 10 required strength 5. That's better than the pickaxe, right? Yeah. Let's equip that. Oh, I dropped the torch when I do this. Okay. So, we'll put the torch away for now then. It's just using it to see if there's anything on those walls there. You can cook the bug, take things quicker, plus press mouse 1 and Q. Uh, I could use mouse. I probably should use mouse. Um, will I use mouse? Maybe. We'll see. Because the mouse is way up here, and it's, it's difficult to... Basically, it's difficult for me to use the mouse. I'm not using the mouse. I have the, I have the mouse set up to actually work but I only have it set up to work so that the camera will track properly because if I roll the wheel it will actually track the camera out away from me like so so it's I mean it's there just in case I feel like the camera is too nauseating or something that's actually a pretty good angle right there I think Let's see. yeah that's a pretty good angle I don't think we can get in there so let's go this way see what we can do. Maybe I should roll it out a little more. Let's see. I actually let's see it said it has <laughs> go to settings, change visual range. I can do that? Let's see. Uh not that one. Visual range a hundred percent. So we want this to go up is what you're saying. To... This game is made to be played with keyboard only. Okay, gotcha. Let's see here. Why range vision less than 300? So we want it to be 300%. Is that what you're saying there, Orc Hypocrite? I hope my computer doesn't explode. Because I've got good texture details and everything. I mean, I think it'll be fine, but let's, let's just be sure. 
Well, I can see the buildings now. They still popped in and out a little bit, but that's okay. Yes, okay. I can't see what's down the hill, so if there's meal bugs trying to attack me, I uh, won't be able to do much, but that's okay. There was a dude hanging there. Now it's just something else. What do you suppose those things are? I feel like if I go after that one, then that one's gonna, like, run after me. And since it's strength in numbers at this point, since I'm basically probably made of wet tissue paper, if there's two of them, they're gonna kick my ass. But I suppose... That's the point, isn't it? They're trying to teach me something here. They've gotta be. Let's see what that is in a moment. Get out of here. Well, that wasn't so bad. Oop. Probably can't loot him while my weapon's out. Detail no max. 2001 year game. Yeah. <laughs> well... The visual details are... I mean, they're good, considering it's a 2001 game. I'm, I'm cool with what they've got. I mean, hell, the way that that uh, scavenger thing is moving over there is the same as some of the NPCs moved in the opening cutscene of Mass Effect 3, so... Uh, I suppose that's not a big deal. Let's see. Old sword requires 10 strength. Do I have 10 strength? Let's see. What's my strength? Um... Strength is 10. Okay, so I can use the old sword. All right, cool. Uh, yes, this one. Okay. We're upgrading our weapons, boys and girls. Uh, another arrow. What was that? Another arrow. Somebody got shot to hell. Another arrow. A club. What good is a club to me? Club is 5 damage. Value 2. Do I really need this? Don't use forward attack, only WASD or arrows. Okay, I will try that. So it's, it's basically, depending on what direction you press while you're holding the action button, you can attack in a different direction. All right. That I will keep in mind. Let's see what the scavenger has. So if I press Alt and Q, I can... Uh, alt and that. Maybe when there's more than one thing, it'll it'll make a difference. Hang on. Let's find another treasure chest, and then we'll we'll see. Come here, you. And he's a dodgy boy. Not bad. Okay, so they can dodge around, and the attack uh, that I use is just, it depends on where they're dodging to. Okay. That's cool. I'm getting a feel for it now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Stock chicken sound effect there. That's a fancy town they got there, though, considering it's a prison camp. Must have been something else at some point. Corinus must have been like a an actual kingdom or something at one point in the... Ooh. Orc Leaf. Okay. Seraphis. Alright, I, I, I don't know what any of these things do, so I'm just going to pick all of them up and experiment with them later. Some blueberries, in case I start dying. Those are two scavengers pretty close together. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Okay. Man, good thing I uh, saved. I don't know if these guys are friendly. <laughs> I guess we could go find out. Well, go find out. Gentlemen. Hello. Hey you. Hey me. What do you want? I want to warn you. If you continue this way, you'll be entering our hunting ground. And that's a bad thing, huh? Yeah, what do you guys hunt? 
What do you hunt? Mostly scavengers. There's a lot of meat on them. Besides, it ain't too oh, hard. Okay, to gotcha. <laughs> once you know how. So really? it's leveled. How's well, that? not leveled, rather. Ask my friend Drax here. He knows more about these things than anyone. What, the scavengers? Walk into the wrong cave and you're dead. Well, that sounds fine. I'll just have to be careful when I go into a cave, that's all. Why is this area so dangerous? You've just arrived, haven't you? Yes, I have. There are different areas in this colony which are all more or less dangerous. The paths between the camps are quite safe, but even there you might come across some wolves which look on you as a uh, easy prey. So you mean and wolves aren't exactly the easiest enemy in the game for get once? A proper weapon and armor. Yeah, I kind of do need some armor. I've got a decent weapon, but armor not so much. Where can I get better equipment? Oh, I got journal entry. Nearest place is that old camp. Just follow the path that brought you here. But you can get the stuff cheaper in our new camp, provided you know the right people. If so these guys are new camp, camp people. All right. Drag. He's one of us. For just a little ore, he'll sell you the proper goods. And you have a fence in the old camp? Man, they're like an espionage group too, aren't they? Huh. Tell me more about the areas of the colony. If you travel between the camps, you'll need a map to distinguish paths and dead ends. Dead ends often lead you to dangerous canyons where you encounter creatures you'd better avoid. Great. Do not enter the old ruins. There are too many around here. Most of them are old fortifications dating back to the time of the first orc war. Some are abandoned orc dwellings. And there are often orcs in those ruins, or even worse creatures. I'd avoid those places, especially at night. Oh, there's day and night one system. more hint. Okay. Don't go into the forest. Don't go into the for. I mean, I would think that the place around—I guess the place around here is just like a hilly area, not an actual forest. But where do okay. I get a map? Ask the people in the old camp. There's a cartographer living there. Maybe you can steal one of his maps. If you manage to do it, take one from me as well. <laughs> what did you lose one or? Why doesn't he sell the maps? If you get enough ore to pay for them. Hmm. Okay. Well, thanks for the info. Thanks for your help. Don't go thinking everyone's going to be so friendly, kid. There may not be much in a newcomer's pockets, but some folks would even beat you up for a pickaxe. Well, I'll sure, a pickaxe is sharp. You can murder people with a pickaxe. Jax, he told me to talk to you. You're hunting, aren't you? Looks like it. What do you want? Do you have some Nothing hints in for the hunt? I could teach you a few things, but everything has its price. Which would be how much? A good gulp of beer will do to start with. Then we'll see. Oh, so you want some beer? I've got beer. Here's a beer. Here you are. Take a beer and tell me about hunting. Scavengers. That's what we call the big birds should be attacked one after the other. It's easy to lure single scavengers from the pack. Hmm. If you come too close, they'll become irritated. After a while, they'll storm in your direction. At this point, you should be waiting for them with a raised weapon. If you manage to strike the beast before it hits you, you have to keep fighting. Then you'll be able to defeat the creature without being hurt yourself. If it hits you first, well, just don't let them. Oh, okay. That that makes sense. So, lure them away probably by backstepping with the, my weapon out, then continually attack them or else they're going to hurt and or kill me. Eh, that's fair. He probably wants more beer, doesn't he? I mean, I have beer, so... What else can you tell me about hunting? A lot, but it'll cost you more than a beer. If you know how, you can take the creature's teeth, claws, and skin... It's hard to get them, but they are valuable. At least every merchant will trade those things with you. At least every one? So you let me skin things, or take claws, teeth, whatever, but it's going to cost me ore. Um, I don't think that's unreasonable. I mean, how, how much could it possibly take to get one ore, right? So I don't think that you're demanding a lot for your advice is necessarily a true thing. Thanks for that. I'll, uh, 
I'll be back, maybe. Maybe. Now let's keep following the path then and just see what we can do. I'm just looking around to see if there's any items. Uh, probably don't want to go that way since that's their hunting ground. And there's three scavengers there, so that's, uh, you know, a bad idea. Hello there. Are those people hunting? Looks like it. Maybe I should go help them. Help them with the hunt. Or maybe I should put my weapon away since they seem to be done with whatever they were hunting. What, you hunted it and you didn't even take its valuables? Or it, you didn't even, like, grab any of it, any of the raw meat off of it? Like, come on, guys. Unless you're not hard up for food or anything. I mean, waste not, want not, am I right? They must have gotten too close to that bridge there. Every level up gives you 10 learning points. You can spend those to learn abilities like strength, sword, skill, and you need to find a teacher first. Okay. Then that's what we'll do when we get into... Probably the camps have the teachers. So... Uh, actually, wait, wait a moment. Pod in a moment. Let me save scum like a motherfucker. Okay. Now! What, you're not going to come after me? I didn't think that was going to work out. Uh, I think what I do now is I just go here, and then I load. I don't think it manually reloads your save file. I've, I've died once before while messing around, <laughs> suffice to say, so... First death, yes! Now that we got that out of the way, this time for real. Okay, not this time for real. Perhaps if I lure them over to the guards, then they can help me. Hmm. I mean, I don't have to fight them right now, I suppose, but... Ow. Help me! Wow, their weapon must be pretty Put damn the good. Damn weapon away. Okay. That there was you lucky. Thank you for the help. <laughs> Just grab that. Um. Oh, okay, I can probably eat this. There we go. Got my HP back. Nice. Oops. I could probably take one of them. Ha! Well, that one gave me 50 experience, huh? Whoops. Almost killed me, but that's okay. Um, that's just valuable. Ooh, these are a little better for life. There we go. Cool. Alright. Let's have a chat with our bridge guard friends who killed that thing for me. Or actually, hold on. I'll be back in a moment grabbing some flowers. Juvenile. Oh, I already, already looted that. Alright. Dragonov cut. Do I uh, use block? Okay. The monster means makes noise. It means it will attack you soon. Make sure only one sees you. Okay. I will keep that in mind for the next time. How do I block with a weapon? Let's see. Is it is it just back? Like uh, I do this and then I do that. No. Nope. Ah. Okay. There we go. Now I know how to block. All right. I got to keep that in mind. Uh, hold the action button. Press back to block things. All right. When do I get a shield? That might help a little. Whoops. Put the weapon away. Put it away. Okay. Sorry. Press the wrong Lucky button. Lucky for you. 
but I would have enjoyed polishing your mug. I... The only thing getting polished here is your chrome dome of a head? But let's not tell him that. Control S to block and only S to dodge. Okay. Hi, I'm new here. How nice for you. Is that the old camp over there? No, that's the new camp. The old camp is underneath the bridge. So where's the bridge? Which bridge are we? Are we talking this bridge or? I think you're lying to me. What are you doing here? What's it look like? Regarding the bridge, of course. Are we there trolls sure living under no this bridge? Cross the bridge? If I go under the bridge, will I find Saizo's hideout from <laughs> two games ago? Have you got any advice for me? Yeah, don't go in the forest on your own. Unless you're strong enough to fight off all the beasts. Well, I'm not strong right now, so... Just Make sure you that. get to the old camp. They're holding a pickaxe for you. <laughs> yeah, probably for my back. I've got a pickaxe already. So under the bridge, huh? Talking about down here? I think he lied to me. I'm gonna wade through this water. Oh, there's a swimming mechanic. Okay. Yeah, at least there's no wet and cold or anything like that. Oop, oop, I'm stuck on tree branch. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> Figured it would just blend right into the background, but no. Apparently not. Let's grab that. There are some more people over there. Probably. If I keep going through here and getting unsolicited advice from people, one of them is going to get pissed off at me, so I don't know about that. You can also dive. Okay. Let me see. It's probably like action button and down, huh, to dive. Let's see here. Where is it? The sneak button. Nope, that's just back paddle. And this is probably a glitch. Let's get out of the water so it stops glitching on me. <laughs> jump, okay. So, so jump is the dive key. How does that even work? Ah. Oh, I hit my head. Hold on. Okay, back up. So, basically up pushes me down, down pushes me up. Okay. Let's see what these gentlemen have to say. Oh, he's a digger. Okay. He might be able to give me an idea of what I'm going to have to do. What are you doing out here? I want to be left in peace, so get lost. Okay. What about your friend there? I'm guessing if I touch any of their stuff, they're going to beat me up. So. Why are you here and not in the camp? I'm waiting for a friend to return from the mine. He owes me some ore. I can't turn up in the camp without the ore. I couldn't pay the protection money for the guards, and then things would get real heavy for me. Real heavy, you say, huh? Well, that sounds like an over-encumbrance nightmare. So perhaps that's not such a good idea. Okay. Just to be safe, before I go over here and, again, get my ass beat... Because I'm sure it'll happen eventually. One of these Where guys you is think you're going? be unhappy to the with camp. me. You ain't come to make trouble, have you? I mean, that depends on what kind of trouble you're talking about. Diego says that's I'm okay, meet Garrick. Him in the camp. Okay, in you go then. That's okay, Garrick. I, it'll help me anyway, um, because I'll uh, be able to. It, it, basically, if it's still in the chat, there, I'll be able to be like, okay, what was it again? And then I'll scroll up, and then I'll see all of your comments. That, Giving advice. Any news? Nah, everything's the same as ever. Same stuff, different day, huh? I know that feeling. What do you have to say? Hi. What do you do all day? I make sure no one gets in if Gomez don't want them to. So don't make trouble when you're inside or you won't be going nowhere. 
Okay, that's fair enough. Thank you, gentlemen. I will see you later. Hi. Whoops. Sorry. Personal space and all that. I'm new here. So I see. How's things? You make trouble here, you get punished. Well, that's fine. What do you call trouble? Most diggers don't pay, pay for the protection. Protect okay. If you mess with one of them, we'll deal with you. If I catch you rummaging around in other people's huts. Okay, okay, I get the point. <laughs> I guess this is a fair question. Do you need an extra man? You must be one of the new ones, eh? Yep. If you're looking for a camp to join, try to sec loonies. They're not fussy about who they take on. We don't take just anyone. Not unless you want to go digging in the old mine. Well, I would assume that was the only thing to do around here, but... Where can I find Diego? During the day, he's usually at the castle entrance with Thoris. So, Thoris and Diego are both at the castle. Okay, that's a good thing. Who calls the shots around here? Thoris is the one that makes sure things don't fall apart. He's right under Gomez. Alright, so we need to probably go find Diego, because then we'll find Thoris, and then we'll find Gomez. Alright, that's fair. Well, this is the old camp, I would assume. I mean, nobody's dressed like new camp people. Hey, you! Hi. Are you talking to me? What's up? I'm warning you. People like you can get into trouble awfully quick round here. And most of the guys they chuck in here are bastards. They think they can do what they like to you, but we won't allow that. Gomez wants some peace in the camp, and we guards make sure he gets it. But it's a job that doesn't come cheap. Okay. That's why I'm asking you for some ore. Look on it as a kind of token of friendship. You help us, and we'll help you. If you get in trouble, we'll be there for you. You scratch my back out, I scratch yours, huh? Um... <laughs> I don't know, I feel like this is gonna get me in trouble, but... You mean you want me to pay protection money? No thanks. I can take care of myself. Have it your own way, kid. You'll soon regret turning down a friendly offer. <laughs> Didn't sound so friendly. So it's ten ore. Okay, well, I'll keep that in See mind. You. Take care of yourself, kid. Hmm. And that guy at the front entrance said if I'm poking around in people's huts, then things are gonna get bad for me. Ooh, a kettle. What do I do with you? Apparently I phase into you. That's not good. trough was... Oh, I can sit down. Okay, well, I don't know what that does for me, but whatever. Let's just have a look around. New here, are you? I don't know your face. Yeah, I'm, I'm new. Sly. I have a job on offer for a newcomer. Does it involve canes and collecting coins and safe boxes? You have a job for me? What is it? One of our guards has disappeared. He's called Neck. He might have gone over to the new camp. Why would You're I want to go here, to the new camp? And you'll get around quite a lot, so keep your eyes peeled. If you find him, I'll speak up for you in the camp. Hmm. What good will your speaking up for me do? If you want to join the camp, you need people to speak up for you. I if have I speak Diego up to speak up for me, Diego, though, don't I? That'd be a great help for you. Oh, okay. So it's best two out of three, huh? I'll see if I can find him. If you meet Fletcher, ask him about Neck. He's taken over his district since Neck disappeared. Where will I find him? His district is the district of the arena. So there's an arena in the new camp. Okay. I, I hope I remember all these details, man. I get the, well, I have my journal if I you know, don't remember. So that's a thing. Hi guys, can I use the can I use the kettle? I doubt that's ever likely to change. I doubt that's ever likely to change. Probably not. Maybe if you think. It's a big place though, I'll tell you what. 
So that looks like the cave, like where they do the digging. Maybe. Hey man, I'm Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you yeah, better take right a pen. <laughs> So this is an, a merchant of some kind. Okay. Let's see here. Have you got armor for me as well? Well, I'm sure that I can satisfy you. Sounds vulgar. There must be something That's a lot of ore. No, thank you. Show me your goods. So he has ore nuggets. Same old story every time. We don't want to get rid of the letter to the magician. So these all have value. Apparently, rice schnapps has pretty good value. So does beer. But I get the feeling I'm going to need to hold on to those because that one guy wanted me to wanted me to give him some. You know what I mean? I should probably hold on to the pickaxe. The club is useless to me, so you can have that. Um, I have a better sword than the rusty one. Ask the shadows for a job, save, and then ask them the ones with names. Okay. I will get that right on that. So, I could get a short sword. How much money do I have, anyway? I don't think it tells me. Armor's defense. Lurker's bite. Thorn of the woods. Digger's discipline. Those are some pretty decent items. I mean, it costs a bunch of ore, but... I have... I think I have one ore, because that's what it says right here. Yeah. I think that's what that's supposed to represent. Uh... Sure, you can you can hold on to those. Thank you. Um, water bucket, but I can't do anything with it. Okay. Well, I've got a job now. Whoops. Um, what was my journal key again? Probably gonna have to do this a bunch. Sorry. Uh, journal missions and notes is N or right shift. Journal is here. Current missions. Banished guard and mission to the old camp. Sly the Shadow has promised to speak to Diego for me if I find Neck. The guard might have joined the new camp. I should ask Fletcher from the Arena District about Neck. Okay. Uh, how do I get out of here? Escape again. Okay. And a mission to the old camp. To be allowed to join Gomez's people in the old camp, I need to see Thoris. So let's look for him, I guess, first, before we go running around willy nilly trying to get people's attention. Probably need something to light that. Do I have club or ore? I had one ore. I gave it away for free. You need to drag his ore into trade window. So I could give it away for free or for less? Ah, new face. What I'll do you want? Keep that in mind. I want to offer you help. You're new here, and the new ones always get into trouble. You could save yourself a lot by making a small donation. Are they all going to ask me Just for protection money? That ain't much to ask. You talk about it like I've got that. And what do I get out of it? While you're in my district, I'll protect you. If you get into any trouble with the guys from the new camp, or if one of the sect loonies gets on your nerves, you can count on me. If you have bother with one of the diggers, we'll help whichever one of you has paid. It's as simple as that. Hmm. And what if both have paid? Yeah, that was my and next you question. sit back and watch the show, but that don't happen too often. Oh. Well, then, I'm assuming you guys don't get paid very often, then. What if I don't pay? Hey, man, don't stress yourself. You're a newcomer. Take a look around. Collect a bit of ore, and when you're ready to pay, then pay. You can do it anytime, but don't count on my help until you've made your contribution to my expenses. I'm sure you'll understand. Okay, later. I'll see you later. Just you take care of yourself. I mean, I'll do the best I can. 
There's only so much I can do with no, or, you know, little money. Dusty, huh? You're, you've got a name. Hi, I'm new here. How's things? Go away. I've been working my ass off in the mines for the last two weeks. And what for? Some sad lumps of ore is all I got. I had to spend most of it on food. I talked to Ball Parvis down there. He told me some interesting things about the sect camp. I think I'd better so, go there instead of slaving away for Gomez. So there's the old camp, the new camp, and the sect camp. Is that what you're is that what you're trying to tell me? You don't like it here? Why don't you just go then? Damn. Because I'm not quite sure what to expect there. I had a pal here. His name was Melvin. He headed off to the sect camp a week ago. But since then, I haven't heard of them. And as long as I don't get a message from him, I stay here. Okay, so now I have a reason to go to the new camp and the sect camp. Okay. I don't think Dusty's going to be able to help me too much because he's just a digger, but... I need, I need someone with influence around here. I mean, I already have Diego on my side. So... That guy up on the hill looks like he has influence. You know, if I can get up there. <laughs> That's some jump, dude. I was gonna jump up on the roof, but well... Really. Oh, so you're just a guard. Okay. So, obviously, you're not the person I'm looking for. I'm looking for someone who's got some influence around here. Yeah, I'm actually... That's one thing that I definitely would say, is that the uh, the dialogue thus far has been pretty damn good for a game that came out in 2001, that's for sure. The controls don't seem too bad. I mean, they take a little getting used to, and obviously there are some hang-ups, like the fact that I just gave away a sword and a club for free to a merchant. I'm sure that'll make a big difference, but yeah, so far so good, I think. I also see that everyone has got a health bar, so they're in aggressive mode, basically automatically. I need to go back this way. Gotta go back down here. Um, let's head this way first. So that's Fisk. We already talked to Fisk. Bal Parvez. He might be useful. If I can talk to him, he's having a smoke break right now. So. The sleeper be with you, stranger. I'm here to guide you onto the right path. Who's the sleeper? Yeah. Who's the sleeper? The sleeper speaks to us through dreams and visions. He has been leading us ever yeah, since I, I can he first made contact with Iberian five years ago. All the followers of the Brotherhood have renounced the three gods. We pray only to the sleeper for salvation. Salvation from what? From this goddamn place, of course. The sleeper will show us the way to freedom. Hmm. And, yeah, what, what did the sleeper tell you? What did the sleeper tell you? He guided us to the swamp, to the old temple ruins. That's where we built our camp. I thought you weren't supposed he to go gave in us the ruins. Independence. None of us need to labor in the mines. Okay. He showed us what swamp weed can do. We sell it to the other camps, and in exchange, we get everything we need. And he gave some of us the gift of magic. Of an old and powerful magic, which is different from the one the magicians of the realm use. So you sell weed to people, basically. <laughs> oh, really? Well, that makes sense, yeah. I mean, you intimidate them if you're high enough level for it, so... I'm not that high Tell level about right the magic now, of the though, sleeper. So. This gift enables you to control things with the power of your mind. Only the gurus of our brotherhood have been initiated into the secrets of this magic. Hmm. And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. He alone has the power to set us free. Yeah, I the suppose you should expect that answer. Great invocation in our camp. They want to get in contact with the sleeper. So far, he's just talked to us in visions. But now, it's time to get in touch with him. 
We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. By focusing our spiritual power, we'll get through to him. Our camp is some distance away, in the swamp. I can take you there, though, if you want. Um... What would be the benefit of joining you? All the Maybe weed I ever wanted, you're probably. You're one of the chosen people who received the gift of magic from the sleeper. Or you might obtain the highest honors and become a Templar. Only the best fighters among us can obtain that position. If the sleeper is with you, you can even combine both. The best of the Templars receive the gift of magic as well. So is that like you a see, hybrid build? Our brotherhood has a lot of possibilities for you. You hmm. should be aware of that before you decide on joining any other camp. So it's going to give me a choice which camp I want to join. Okay. Let me gather more info first. I might get back to you on that offer. Anybody else who's got a name around here? I'm sure the regular old NPCs don't hey, really you. have anything. I trade in swamp so. weed and potions from the sect camp. Do you want something? Another trader, huh? I think I already haven't established what swamp weed is show me your goods I got the best stuff here so weed 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 or lockpick a map of the colony unfortunately a big territory in the southwest is missing it's not a complete map great essence of magic energy extract of healing essence of healing well he's got some decent healing potions so that's not bad <laughs> excuse me So let's say I wanted to... Is this going to, like, set me on the path? I don't think so. I mean, he said other stuff, so... You can do quests for all the camps and decide which one you want to join for more XP. Okay, that's a that's a good thing to know. I'll have to keep that in mind. I want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh! You're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Something good. like that. You can do me a favor. If you do it well, I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam, quite a big shot. One of the gurus of the sect. Mm -hmm. Kalam is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective healing potion. Oh. I'd like to buy the recipe off him. Then I can produce it myself. Hmm. But nobody can get near Kalam. And what do you expect me to do? Right. The sect loonies are looking for new people all the time. You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Hmm. Cologne is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. Oh, because the orcs in the south. Him, okay, I'll have to, to keep recipe. that in mind. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. Hmm. I, I just a question for you. Are you sure you want to say that I'm not actually like you're you're leading me on like this? Are you sure you want to say that in front of Bal Parvez there? Isn't he with the sect camp? Sounds like a difficult business. How much is in it for me? At some Setting point, this game graphic Diego two sliders to the right. Okay. If you're suitable we'll check for that us. after this. Just guess what my answer will depend on. Oh, he can give me a 50 ore loan. <laughs> Knowing me, though, by the time I get over to the sect camp, I will uh, forget that the 50 ore is from him. Plus, is he really going to hand it over to me? I missed one guy before Fisk. Okay, I'll look. I'll go check. I'll just see if I can get it. Probably get a better okay, reward anyway. Okay, I can get the thing. Where is the sect camp? That's Leave a good the question. camp through the south exit, okay. then head eastwards. You'd better take a map. I got one here for fifty or. The south exit is the collapsed tower, isn't it? Exactly. Okay, well, that's better to know than knowing <laughs> where it is on the map, because if I just go through the south exit, I'll just follow the road. So, Collapse Tower is the south exit. Okay. So, Fisk was the dude here, right? Yeah. So, maybe back here, because we haven't gone this... No, we did go this way, never mind. Whistler, hello. Hi, I'm new here. What do you want from oh, me? Oh, I'll check the game graphics I want to become one after this, too. I want to join the camp. Looking for people to support you, eh? I guess. If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. I've established that people need favors around here. 
What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. Okay. He won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. Well, that seems easy enough. <laughs> Did you even consider... I'm going to ask that question too, but... Why won't he sell the weapon to you anymore? We had a little argument. <laughs> and? And that's all you need to know. Hmm. Okay. I mean, yeah, I am a newcomer here. Hasn't this crossed your mind? Did you ever consider that I might just run off with the ore? Don't forget, the colony is small. If you run off with my ore, I'll find you. And then I'll kill you. Okay, give me the hundred ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. Come straight back to me. Grab all the things. Let's see how much that sword is. If Fisk will even sell it to me. Maybe he saw me speaking to Whistler and then he's going to be like, No, I, I know what you're doing. I can't sell it to you either. Oi, Fisk. Hello. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? God damn it. Of course it's... <laughs> hmm. If I tell him this, he'll know something's up. Maybe later. Maybe later. Let me go get more ore. <laughs> okay. I would have the ore if I didn't sell the club and the sword for free. Damn it. Oh well. Tis fine. Tis fine. We will go get more ore. I wonder if I'm safe in here, like with uh, the day-night cycle and everything. Like, if, I mean, I'll probably have to get a torch out pretty soon because it looks like it's getting close to nighttime. But uh, did I go up here yet? I don't know, but there's nobody up here that's worth me talking to anyway. So we talked to Sly already. I keep seeing these little things peeking out of people's huts, and I'm like, ooh, what's that? But I, I can't go in there because they said they'd kick my ass if I did. So. Baal Tehran. So you're a different Baal. Is that just like the name of your section of the sect or something? Go back to Whistler. Okay, I'll check it out. I'm new here. Who are you? I am Baal Tehran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. It's, it's a wonder, though, that they let these people just kind of run around willy-nilly in these camps. You'd think that they'd be more, like, separated, I guess? I, I don't really know how to say it. Hmm. Michael. Hey, I need to get into the castle. Can you help me? I fear I cannot, brother. What? The only ones among us who may enter the castle oh, it's in my wallet. are those who supply the weed to Gomez. Here, give me my wallet, and we I'll give it to you. We gather swamp weed and uh, sell part of pocket. it to the old camp in exchange for goods from the outside world. If you were one of the couriers working for Kor Kalom, you could get into the castle. But for that, you would need to be one of us. What do you want to do in the castle anyway? Uh, join the old camp. <laughs> there. Yep. Okay, so I was only partially listening, but basically, if I become a courier for the sleeper agents from the sect camp, I can get into the castle that way too. Okay, let's let's just be vague to him. I want to meet somebody there. Do you? Who? And why don't you just wait until he comes out? He's uh, clammy. <laughs> He's one of the magicians. Oh, well, they never leave the castle. You really will have to get in. Well, I didn't what tell him anything that from them anyway? wasn't really, you know. Magic runes or potions? Um, sure. That's right. I knew it. What else would a guy like you want with the mages? <laughs> Nothing of note, that's goodness. for sure. <laughs> Forget uh, the mages. They take far too much ore for their stuff. Hmm. Magic runes and potions are much cheaper in our camp. They're probably less effective. Two. Huh. 
Okay, uh, let's see here. Settings. Two sliders to the right. So you want me to increase the texture detail and the model detail? Is that what you're asking me to do? Uh, let's see. I think I did increase the model detail. I just saw him sort of phase out a little bit. Whoa. Okay. Well, my game hasn't exploded yet, so that's probably a good sign. Okay, am I back at the... Okay, I am back at the entrance now. Alright. That's, that's fine. Actually, the, the detail on it is, is pretty good, considering it's a 2001 game. I was expecting, since it was like, there was that DX11 patch that people talked about, I was, ex was expecting that you'd need to like install that for the game to not look like garbage, but nope. Not exactly the case. Looks pretty good! Let me roll this out just a little. There we go. Okay, so let's go back to Whistler. See what he has to say about the fact that what's his face? Fisk is trying to jip me. Oi, Whistler. Fisk wants 110 ore for his sword now. And you want me to give you the 10 ore now? I thought you wanted to have that sword. Here, take it. And now hurry. <laughs> this is just going to get worse, isn't it? Gonna be like, oh, I want 120 ore for it now. Great. I'm gonna take out a torch. There we go. Now I can see. Good. I kind of need that. It's kind of important for me to know where I'm going. Oi, Fisk. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. Let me guess, it's 120 ore. That'll be 110 ore. Oh. Interesting. I was waiting for him to keep jacking the price up. Sure, I'll take it. Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. So can I equip that sword and then beat them up with it? or? <laughs> Let's see. Um, Where's that sword? Whistler's sword. That's pretty good. So, theory. No, wait, 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 hang on. Theory might be going out the window here, because I was going to say, I don't have to take this directly to him yet, right? Like, I can wait to take this to him and then, like, go kill things with it and all that, but no, I can't do that because I need 15 strength to use it and I only have 10. So that, that plan just got shot out the window. All right. Let's take it back to Whistler then and see what he has to say to me. About all oh, that sword I got for him. Hello. Uh, I can't get the sword. Here's your hunt. I don't have that sword. Or the, that ore, rather. Here's your sword, though. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? No, actually. Whatever. You do me a favor and I'll do you one. I scratched your back, man. Ask after you. I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time. <laughs> that doesn't sound threatening at all. Do, do you need this lit, by the way? Do, hold on. There you go. You're welcome. Jackass. <laughs> okay, anyway. Well, that's one quest down. That was easier than I thought. I was expecting to have to... Know, do the usual thing for these sorts of games. Go out in the wild, collect 20 bear asses, and bring them back. But if we got into a fight with a bear at this point, I would probably die. So maybe not such a good idea. Pan. Um. Wait, hold on. Can I. Did I just eat that raw meat? I think I just ate that raw meat. Whoops. I was trying to put it in the pan, but I don't think that's how that works. Grave. I think that's his name. Oop. Here, have a torch light. There you go, buddy. And just wave in your face. Is it Grave or Gravo? I can't tell. 
I would ask how you're doing, but it appears that you're doing terribly because you're eating imaginary bread. How are you doing? Well, since I stopped working in the mine, I can't really complain. Keep the sword and give it to him later. That's ah, okay. I didn't have the strength for it at this point anyway, so. Have problems. If you get into trouble with influential people here, I can help you sort the thing out. How? You're a, a digger, aren't you? <laughs> you could help me. Hmm. Let's try this. Could you tell me which of the shadows belongs to the influential people here? You ought to impress the right people, do you? Something like Diego that. has the most power of all the shadows. He trusts fingers, Whistler, and Sly. All right, we already helped Whistler. Sweet. Their stuff on the market square. They have many customers, even the guards. And that makes them rather influential. And then there's Scatty. He's in charge of the arena and determines who fights and all that. Many people here owe him ore. He's important as well. Okay, so we helped Whistler. We've got some stuff from Sly. We got some stuff from the merchants. Then we got to go see <laughs> the Scat Man. And uh, who is the other one he talked about? Well, nuts to that. We'll, we'll go help as many people as possible. Get some EXP. Oh, or we could just talk to Thoris right here. Hello there. Oh, I thought that you said you don't look as tough. I was like, uh, what? You don't look as though you'd just let anyone get into the castle. Only Gomez's men are allowed in the castle. Okay. Uh, this is probably my best bet to get in. I want to work for Gomez. Oh, yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Well, if I get enough influence around here, he might... Actually, yeah, he did say you decide, so let's check that out. Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? <laughs> He's Look, not in the babysitting business. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Hmm. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? I'll talk to Diego. Where am I gonna find Diego exactly? Yeah, that's probably not a good idea to tell them that. I mean, I've already told Diego that, though, so push Thoris to give me a quest. So, this one, maybe? Why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. So you don't need anything, is what you're saying. There must be something you want done. No. The things we guards deal with are a bit above you, kid. You just stick to the tasks your patron sets for you. Who who is my patron anyway? Is it Diego? Because I hmm. I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. <laughs> oh, so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. Then but why I'm do you know about you. it? You blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. So don't do it until I'm a high enough level. Okay. I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever hear about it. Understood? Which means I should go tell sure. everyone. Okay. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the ore barons. Well, that's not of good. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. Hmm. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because yeah. he's under the protection of the mages. Who Gomez works for... Okay. Huh. Well, I... I wouldn't say this one because, I mean, the mages aren't their problem. They're Gomez's problem because he works under them. Anyway. Why do the mages protect that Mordrag? Most people in that would be sleeping in the as a routine. As okay. Our local mages are in contact Is there a place where I can sleep? In the new That's camp. my question. They often send gophers back and forth. They're likely to become very unpleasant if I throw one of their gophers out of the camp or have him killed. Hmm. What about me? What do you think the mages will do to me? <laughs> You're new here. 
You'll be okay. I'll get but beaten I'm responsible up. Responsible for what my boys do. That's why it's vital that you keep your mouth shut. Won't they see us talking like this and be like, "What could they be talking about?" And then they'll they'll put two and two together. Well, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, where can I find Mordred? You'll find him at the south gate on the other side of the castle, just beyond the entrance. The bastard wouldn't dare come any further into the camp. So I got to go all the way around, is what you're saying? Okay. Hmm. Do you want me to kill the guy? I want you to make sure I never see his face around here again. Send him up the river. Do it. Basically. Okay. I'll take care of it. Man, I got a bunch of different stuff to do now. Okay, well, we got a quest from Thoris now, so that's a thing. Oh, hey, hey you! That... Oh, aren't you the guy who wants to join the camp? Grim. What if I say, am? Is that Diego right I there? Yes, you. it is. And how? There are two guys sitting around outside the camp. And one of them has stolen something from the ore barons. It's a precious amulet, which should have arrived with the last convoy. One of them Here's should still okay. be in possession of the amulet. If we attack them together, we should manage. I couldn't do it on my own. Why do you say? Hmm. What will happen when we have the amulet? That's an easy one. I'll return it and get the reward. I'll tell them you help me. Then you'll be in Gomez's good books for sure. Well, I was sort of hoping to talk to... Diego, before I talk to you about all of this, um... I get the feeling if I say this, then... I'm never gonna be able to get the quest back. Let's push him a little. No, it's either 50-50 or you can do it on your own. Okay, okay, 50-50. I suppose it'll be enough for the two of us anyway. So, can I count on you? Okay, sure. Count me in. I'm level right. one and I can't fight for shit, start. but I'll help you. Okay, so when I'm ready to start, he wants. Okay, I got it. What's life like here? Easy going, as long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. Which I have not done yet. Okay, so watch my back, basically. Diego, hello. I have found the old camp. <laughs> I've talked to Thoris. Let me tell you all about it. Tell me something about the old camp. It's the biggest and most powerful of the three camps. Gomez and his guys control the camp and thereby the whole ore trade. Hmm. Once a month, the king sends us everything we need. We've got the old guy in our grip, you understand? He sends us wine, bread, meat, weapons, everything. You can also get some of it. All you have to do is join Gomez's people. Okay. So that's easier said than done, though. Well, I've talked to Thoris. I've talked to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. <laughs> do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. Okay. What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. Well, I like brownies, There are a few so. influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, what's that? there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. That's a good thing to know. Um... Actually, we're probably going to go through all of these, honestly. Um, let's go through these ones since they're attached to this chain of dialogue. Where do I find the important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris. You already know him. As for the others, you'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Damn. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. Okay, and what about this test of faith? What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. No problem. Yes, there is a problem. Oh, The okay. new camp must not get that list. 
Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. So get the list and don't drop it. Okay, that's that's easy enough, I think. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell uh, you. Oh, I see. Okay, so you're okay. You're giving me a little bit of extra influence then there, huh? Where can I find the old mine? Go to get at least thirty He's strength. Okay. Tell him that I sent you. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, map. it's the barrier. It'll okay, I was like, what the hell kind of tornado ass? He lives to the left of the north gate. But no, it's just the barrier. <laughs> Gonna have to get used to that. What about my esteem within the camp? I've talked to a few people. And? Whistler told me the story about Fisk. Well, if I was you, I would have taken the ore and cleared off. <laughs> but anyway, he thinks a great deal of you. I think Sly's wrong about Neck. He was a real pain, that's true. But I don't think he went to the new camp. Do you think he went to the sex camp, I really camp, need maybe? to talk to Dexter. He's using you for his own business. Yeah, he but is. But there aren't any rules for the test. If you manage that, you'll be making a big step. Huh. The business with Mordrag is really quite a job. He's not bad as a warrior. You should exercise if you really want to defeat him. Where do I get exercise on with it? At? There are still many things to do if you want to get anywhere here in the camp. Well, I'll do the best I can, Diego, but... Uh, who can teach me? Because I might get Who can teach that. me? Start with fingers. He's the most skillful among us. Okay. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find fingers? His hut's kind of hidden. My it's torch next go to out? the castle yeah. wall. I'll Just that again. start out here and go towards the arena. When you're at the castle gate, go down to the left and you'll be heading for the arena. Castle gate down to the left arena. Okay. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity. So it did, but it didn't go out. Okay. So if I have skill points, I can increase my strength or my dexterity with Diego. Okay. I will have to keep that in mind. We don't have any skill points right now, though, so I, I Come think back anyway. soon. There are many things you need to learn. What about my esteem within the camp? I've talked to a few people. And, and now the torch is gone. Kussler told me the story about Fisk. Well, if I was you, I think Sly... I really... But there are Okay, so the this is just him talking on. about my esteem. Okay, so I can check on how I'm doing, basically, if I go to that. Tell me more about the barrier. There isn't much to tell. It's impenetrable. What happens if I just walk out of here? The last one who tried that reached the other side a dead man. This damn barrier lets you in, but you'll never get out of here. Hmm. If there's a way out, I'll find it. You're already in a rush to get out of here, but you've only just arrived. That's the point, actually. I don't have anything tying me down from getting out of here if I try to get out. What about the two other camps? <sighs> the two other camps split up to pursue their crazy okay. escape plans. We'll keep that there's the new camp in the west of the colony, new camp where the mages the west. think they can just detonate the barrier as soon as they've scraped enough ore together. And That's then the there's and the sect the loonies are. in the east. The their camp the is in east. the middle of the swamp, and they're praying to their idol to set them free. He hasn't responded so far. <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't waste my time on those madcaps. Do they have nightcaps? Because that might be useful. Probably not in this game, though. Take care. Take it easy, Diego. Thanks for the info. Can I relight my torch? Nope, don't think so. Okay, so I don't have one that's on right now. Yeah, I, I don't have one that's on right now. There we go. Uh, oh, okay, I can just undo and redo. Okay, that's that's cool. I didn't know that. So I need to go to the arena, which is down here somewhere. I guess we will keep this. I think the arena's down here anyway. He said to the left of the castle gate, which is right where Thoris was, I think. So let's check over here. Hey, man. Mud. New here? I haven't seen you before. Yep, I'm I'll newbie. join you for a while. If you don't mind, I'm sure you'll need a friend. This sounds like a terrible idea. Sorry, buddy. I'm not in the mood to make friends right now. Get lost. You're not in a good mood today, are you? I better come with you. 
Oh, Tell great. Me, where are we going? Or is it supposed to be a surprise? <laughs> I like surprises. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll let him tag along for a little while. <laughs> What's the worst harm he could do? Try to annoy me to death? Looks like a storage room. Hmm. Bunch of huts. Okay. Another ladder. Is that just a guard? Is that what that... Yeah, just a guard. Okay. Don't worry about that for now, then. And this is the main gate. Okay. I'm just orienting myself, basically, in this first episode with the old camp, because I get the feeling I'm going to be running around here a whole lot, so... If I can kind of get my bearings a little bit, I think I'll be in better shape than I would be otherwise. Is Mud still following me? Where'd he go? <sighs> Crazy guy. Well, whatever. He can go wherever he wants to go. It's not like I'm the boss of him. Water bucket, we don't want to put a torch in that. Probably also don't want to bring the torch into a building. Hey you! But... Get out of here! Alright, alright, sorry. You're learning fast. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Don't shank me, bro. I'm just looking around. So that's what happens if you go in the huts. Okay. I mean I I can't blame them for that though, because I mean if I was if I had a perfectly reasonable, shoddy shack of a place that's made of wood, and somebody walked in there with a torch, I'd be like, what the hell, dude? Get out! You're gonna kill somebody with that. Come on now. Hmm. What do you suppose is down here? Is this the arena, maybe? It's a stone building, whatever it is. Hello? Oh yeah, this is the arena. So I found the right place then, it's just a matter of finding people that can tell me what to do here. There's a grindstone over there. Maybe that's for sharpening weapons or something. Alright, I'm starting to understand, I think, what? Oh god. <laughs> uh, whoop, hold on. Pardon me a minute there, Mr. Bug, I need to get my weapon ready and not set this place on fire. What do you intend to do with the weapon, man? You kill the bug on your roof? Put. You're learning fast. <laughs> well, it, it's your loss when he bites you in the middle of the night, man. <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn you. Night is a good time to go in the forest, yeah. <laughs> I'll bet it is. All kinds of good stuff you can find in the forest at night. You could catch friggin' fireflies, you could get killed by a bunch of wolves. It sounds like a fun time to me. <laughs> uh, where is it? What is down here? Can I just sit here for the night or what? Probably not. Ooh. 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 Is there a person in this bed or? No, it's just a bed. Is this my chest? I can't open it. Okay. I mean, I can probably open it with a lockpick, but let's let's not try to open something that isn't mine just yet. Maybe it will be mine, but maybe not yet. I've already talked to Jackal, haven't I? Let's see. Oh, okay. This is the protection money guy. Okay. Let me pass. Anybody else? Just a regular old guard. A gate guard. Is this a different gate? Maybe. Hmm. This must be the crumbled tower, so that way leads to the... Okay. So, this way leads to the sect camp, if I remember right. Am I correct, sir? Hi. Hi. Move your ass! Get in or get out! I don't care! Just as long as you get out of my sight! Let okay. me pass. Sorry. <laughs> so, some of these people are nice and friendly. Other ones, yeah, not so much. A shadow. Oh, that's more drag. Okay. 
So I need to do something with him. Let me look at my journal real quick. Let's see here. Da 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 da. No, that's neck. Okay, we don't want neck. Uh, new souls for the Brotherhood. Nope, that's dusty. Sect. To get information for him, Thoris's quests. It asked me to remove a rogue called Mordrag from the camp. It's up to me how to do it, but nobody must find out that Thoris is involved. Okay. Well, we know that he's there. He's also got a shadow next to him, which means that uh, combat in this regard is probably not a good idea. I'm just seeing if I can circle around to a point where I know where I am, so that I can kind of put the put two and two together there, basically. I think I know where I am now, because Fisk was standing there, sitting there before, right? And that means if we go up here, this is the fire that I lit for Whistler. Okay, okay, I know where I am now. All right. Got to be closer distance for action slash object with a bed or a pan. You can sleep in that bed. And more drag can get me to the new camp. Okay. So they'll just take me there, huh? Okay. Hmm. Did I go in here yet? Oh, that's not an entrance. What the hell am I thinking? All right. Let's have a chat with more drag then before I go sleeping somewhere. I thought I needed to talk to somebody in order to... I needed to talk to Fingers. That's who I need to talk to. Now, where is Fingers? Maybe he's not out because it's nighttime. Maybe we should sleep first. I think that's a good idea. Quest will still be done if he gets me to the new camp. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Now I've forgotten where the bed is. It's down here, right? Yeah, here we go. Well, let's put my torch away and have a sleep. Whoop, not that close. Sleep until next morning. That sounds about right. You slept well and feel better. Cool. All right, well, now everybody should be back out again since it's morning. Or maybe I should have slept till midday so that I knew everybody would be out. Hmm. Well, at least I don't need my torch anymore. <laughs> I don't mind people backseating if I have absolutely no idea where I'm going, but I do prefer, personally, to play games... Um, Without, I mean, I, I get it. You know, there's there's a point where people want me to be playing at a reasonable clip. I understand that. Um, but I do like to test things out for myself sometimes. So, hmm. fingers is who I'm looking for, and he's not there because that house is not a house anymore. Uh, up here, maybe. That looks like a place I haven't gone yet. Can I get there, though? How do I get up there? Uh, from over there. Okay. Let's go back that way. We'll talk to more drag in a moment. I just want to see if I can find fingers first before I do anything else. Mm -hmm. To dig people. To dig dugs. Uh, was that... That's Dexter. Okay. A couple of the other bowels. That's Dusty. I didn't go past Dusty, I don't think. Or maybe I did, and I just don't remember. But the point is, I haven't found fingers yet, so... He's the person that I'm looking for. Person behind you. Nope. Just random low-level NPCs. Hmm. Okay, I definitely have been over here, because this is where I jumped before. I don't think there was anything else this way. Because that's just a normal guard. I 
I don't think I went all the way up this way, though. Just a normal guard. Okay. Hello. Goodbye. Up on the ramparts here. But yeah, like I said, if I orient myself now, it's better than doing it later, you know? Man, these ramparts go far. Well, invisible walls plus. Am I gonna fall off of this? Well, not again. No, I'm not gonna fall off. Okay. <laughs> the world seems to be appearing and disappearing on me. <laughs> he probably could spoil me on a bunch of stuff, but yeah, I appreciate the little mechanical lessons because it, it'll, again, it'll help as I go from here. Hmm. Okay, so this is where the ramparts end, right here. And this is... Okay, so that's that other bow guy that I talked to. It was like, well, you know... The mages can't really help you with their magic because it's too expensive. We can help you with our magic, though. That won't happen again. Does anyone know where Fingers is? Let's just see if we can... Okay, well, I didn't die from jumping off of that, so that's probably a good sign. Ooh, that's a new guy with a name. Jesse. Hello. You not a talkative person? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, dude. Hello. I know you're cooking something, but seriously. Here's Herrick. Talk to him. Oh, I already talked to you. Never mind. You shouldn't believe everything. Hang on. I hear you've spoken to Bloodwind. Well, more, more or less want? he spoke to me. Yeah, it was real cool of you to refuse to pay him protection money. It means we're all gonna have to pay your share as well. I'll make sure you remember next time he asks you. Yeah, okay. Um, you can keep that. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go over here. Bye-bye. Bloodwin, a little help? Hi. Um, I can't talk to you right now, sorry. I, I got somebody on my tail. Who wants to beat me up on my hand yes <laughs> that is a good point about this that is a good point did did he leave me alone no, that was easier than I thought <laughs> I probably could go beat him up but I I feel like if I if I do I don't know. I feel like if I do, it's not going to be good for me. The guards did say they would just stand around and watch if the two of us duked it out, but I don't know. He's probably a higher level than I am. Oh, there's Mud again. Hi. Don't pay attention to me. I'll stay with you. Don't worry. You got lost last night, man. I, I can't believe a word you're saying anymore, can I? You're not the person I thought you were, Mud. Uh, Scally. Gore. Man, these people have all got interesting names. Okay. Oop. Hi, Scally. I think his name is Scally, anyway. You're probably you someone I need here? to talk I'm to. I'm in charge of the arena. I organize the bets, hire new fighters. You know. Oh, do you? Okay, that's interesting. Um... I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? Probably because they die there. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. Mm. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, okay, well, that's I fair. can't stand the swines from the new camp. But business is business. Capitalism goes on, even in Prison Planet, apparently. Um... Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. Man, I need ore for everything around here. One-handed sword level ore, level 1, 50 ore, 10 skill points. Okay. 
keep that in mind for later. Um, I want to join the camp. Can you help me? I might be able to, if you manage to impress me. Some of the best fighters from all three camps come here to compete against each other. Mm -hmm. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. So you want me to fight somebody? Can I fight Herrick? He, he wants to fight me. Hmm. Yeah, let's chat with these other people first. Before I go doing something dumb. What are you doing here? Me? I'm fighting for the glory of the sleeper. So you fight in the arena. You fight in the arena? I was sent Here's here meal from the swamp by my masters to fight. Arena fights and betting with scrap provided with him. Oh, for okay. His higher gotcha. glory, so all infidels can see how strong his power has made me. I looked for mods for this game, but I didn't. Uh... I, I think I only found two that were on the Nexus there, but I, I guess that makes sense since it's the Nexus and not, like, the official site or anything that I was looking on. Not that I'd want mods, I'd want to play this vanilla at first, but, you know, I mean, if there's mods that make it easier to, to or, you know, more aesthetically pleasing, okay, but... I'm new like, here. I heard the DX11 patch I'm earlier here. You must Orc have said it wasn't so great. Here, or else you'd have heard of me. I'm the best fighter this damned camp has ever seen. Really? Okay. Uh, no, I will not challenge him. <laughs> He's got armor. I've got nothing. I'm guessing these are the three that I can challenge, huh? Hi. I'm new here. You don't say. Tell me about the outside world. It's been over a month since I heard anything from outside. I'm Kurgo. I fight in the arena. He seems like a good guy. A cool guy. Are you good? At fighting? I haven't been doing it for long, but I've already won a fight. Huh. I wonder if there's like a rock, paper, scissors type thing going on here. Like, each of them are good at specific things, you know what I mean? Like, maybe the the, the gore guy is good at magic, one of the other two is good with bows, and the other one's good with strength weapons or something. I don't, I don't know. So we could probably challenge one of them to get in Scally's favor, but... We could also not do that and, you know, not die, so. Yeah, if I go around far enough, I'm going to run into Herrick again. Oh, boy. Uh, perhaps, knowing that, I should do this. Okay. Let's go see if uh, I can kick his ass, and then if I can't, I'll... Uh, That'll be the place where I ended up. Oh, actually, let's talk to Mordrag before I go get my ass kicked. Hey, newcomer. I'm Mordrag. You should remember that name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at a cheap price. Oh, really? <laughs> you have a problem. It's me. No. Um, sure, show me your goods. Show me your goods. What you got, buddy? Choose something. Buy something, please. So you've got teeth, a tumbler, plate, torch, or nuggets. You got eleven ore on you. That's it. Really, that's it. It's too bad he doesn't have a bow or something. That'd be nice. I don't have anything else that I could sell these guys, though, do I? Probably don't want to, you know, the seal must not be opened, so probably don't want to sell that. I probably could sell the alcohol that I've got for some extra cash, but let's just make sure I put the ore in there before I do that. Uh, I'm good, thanks. Um, Are you really the magician's courier? What if I'm I a cooker? I'm running in I'd circles like to too much. <laughs> to talk to the magicians. I have to get inside the castle. The magician's couriers bear seals, which allow them entry to the castle. If you were one of us, you could get such a seal. So what are you saying? Join the new camp, or...? Hmm. So was that one guy back there that was cooking stuff a cooker? Can I get him to cook goods for me? I need to find a chef. Oh, there's a ladder here. Let's try this out. Wow. Ow. 
So can I actually get up this ladder, or is it just not a thing? No, apparently not. Alright, that's fine. I'll just go around. Hmm. So I'm looking for a pan, right? So that they can cook for me. <laughs> yeah. Whee! Running around in circles. Um, that looks like a reasonably large area. Maybe one of them can cook something for me. Oh, there's a pan. I can't do anything with it, though. Is this a locked door? It's not locked. What's in here? Hold on. I haven't seen a closed door yet. That's shocking. Um, let's see what's inside. Burn the place down while we're at it. Why not? Hmm. Some barrels. What's up here? Fancy little sitting, seating area. Doesn't really help me, though. Hmm. Alright, well, out we go. Oops. There we go. Hmm. I thought that was him right there. I was gonna be like, oh boy. Okay, so these guys could probably sharpen weapons for me. Hi. It looks as if you knew what you were doing. Nobody ain't I'm standing on the yet. wrong side of the pan. That oh, would be a okay. Bad idea anyway. Every idiot here needs a sword, and that is what they get from me. I have a sword already, though. How long does it take you to make one blade? That depends. I'm as fast as a hurricane with simple swords. Of course, only on condition that the price motivates me. Mm. A freak like Whistler usually has to wait longer for his toy than other people. <laughs> you Why? don't say. Doesn't he pay enough? No. On the contrary, he gave me 150 ore for his last sword. The guy is into ornaments and girly stuff like that, and of course that's not cheap. <laughs> hey, you ain't curious at all, are you, pal? Well, I may want to help you at some point, so I mean, you know. Well, Smith, how's business? Why would you want to know? I may have an order for you. Oh, really? And what? I'll think about it. <laughs> Come back when you really need something, and don't get on my nerves. <laughs> okay. I'd like to try working here as well. Ah, but don't you think that you can make great blades? I mean, it'd be better than I paying you to do? do it. Okay, take the steel and hold it into the fire. Then you have to lay the red hot steel across the anvil. When you're finished, you put the hot blade into the water bucket over there to temper it. The cooled blade finally has to be sharpened on the grindstone. I see. However, you'll need some things for that. I could sell them to you. <laughs> Everyone wants to sell me stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll wait on that. I got one ore, man. I don't think that's going to do enough for you. Hmm. Okay, let's try sitting on the other side of the pan. If I can, you know, find it again, that is. It's got to be around here somewhere. I think that was it right there, right? Yeah. Reliance. So I gotta go over here. Eh. Hold on. Well, well, now I'm on the pan, but you know. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. Ah, here we go. Okay. That won't happen again. So let's cook it, and hopefully the meal bug will walk right into the fire, and then be good. Is there, like, a prompt that, like, does it change color when it's cooked all the way through, or what's the case here? Hmm. I'm not listening to all that blathering. Or is it just cooking all of my raw meat, and that's why it's taking so long? You're very probably... To press a different direction. Some people... You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Some people never... It's still sizzling, so I would assume it's still cooking. Hmm. 
some mm -hmm. people you have to watch what you tell them. Okay. So now if I back out, I go to my inventory. You're very probably right. I have bug meat. I don't need bug meat. Ah, okay, so there's two grilled meat here now, and that gives me a little bit more life. Okay. That's interesting. That I can deal with. You're very probably right. Is it done now? Let me, let me see. Does that... It does... Co okay. I don't know how long it takes to cook it, but... One, two, three, four, five. Done. Yes. On this week's episode of Cooking with Jimmy, what you need to do is you need to sear the meat until it's tender. You don't want to put too much water on it because then it'll leak out of your pan and your fire will go out. I know that's not exactly common sense, but I feel like it needs to be set. Can I cook bug meat here too, or is bug meat just sort of raw? I guess we'll find out in a moment. Now, once you see a, you okay, it's done. I was gonna say. Now, once you see a, your your raw meat there and you get it grilled, you're gonna want to put a topping on it. So you may want to go out in the wild and pick some flowers, but don't go in the forest, man. Those people are scary. They'll kill your ass in five seconds. Oh, hi, Mud. Don't you have any plan of where you want to go? I have no idea, man. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm not exactly aware of where I want to go. Uh, eh. I'm going to forget I have a jump for a little while here. Where am I even going, anyway? Um. Hmm. Actually, I might want to go back to see Mordrag there, because he's... Really, I think he's the only one that's got anything remotely interesting for me to do. Let's see. Before he comes over here and does something to me. So, the test of faith... ...is over at the old mine. I can find Graham to the left of the north gate. The north gate is the one that I came in. And Ian will give me a list if I tell him that Diego sent me. Okay, Thoris's quest is for more drag. South gate, so we're closer to the south gate. So I have to go to the sect camp for this one. Let's see if I can just do the stuff that's here first. That's going to the sect camp to do. He's at the new camp. Okay. Are you looking for a quiet place where we can talk for a bit or something? Yeah, uh, sorry, Mud. I don't swing that way. I I know that's difficult thing to say on Prison Planet, where you don't really have much of a choice, but... I mean, the mages get whatever they want, but that doesn't mean that they're going to send a whore through for any of us. Hmm. So let's chat with... let's have a chat again with, with Mordrag. So he said I would need a seal if I, if I was the real person. I mean, I have a seal, it's just on the paper, but... Alright. I think now... Before we finish up for today, let's go see if that Herrick guy still wants to kill me. I did go in a, a, a big circle, though, didn't I? And he still didn't want to kill me, so... Maybe we're in the clear. How did I get there, though, anyway? I think I went up here, then I went all the way around on the ramparts to get to him. So we'll see. Yeah, spam cooking. Cook all the spam. Thankfully, I don't need any of it for right now. Okay. 
If anything, going around in circles like this should hopefully orient me, like I said before, to how the camp is laid out. So that's the goods area down there. I think, because that was the ca the cabin where Whistler was, was right there. I think it's already evening. Oh, boy. This is where Herrick was, isn't it? Yeah, he's right there. Okay. All right, let's see what we can do against him. Let's drop right on down. Yo, Herrick. What's up, man? So you think you're one of the wild boys, do you? Why don't you try it with me? This isn't gonna end well. You want to get whacked? All right, if that's what you want. Put the weapon down. Put the, put the, he yeah, he's. Him try that again, and you'll regret it. Yeah, he's a little stronger than I am. <laughs> you poor jerk. You don't even have ore on you. Well, where do you expect me to get ore? <laughs> Okay, well, that's not going to end well. So we can't handle Herrick just yet, but we do have a few other quests that we can go do. Possibly some of them outside of this camp, which means outside of the safety of the world that I'm in. I'm just glad that Herrick isn't like going to be aggressive against me the entire time. Uh, what else can we do here? Is there anything else to do here? So we got to go to the old mine. I think they explicitly said where the old mine was, but that's a thing. Well, we can go talk to Mordrag and see if I can tell him he has a problem. Uh, and the rest of these are outside of this camp. Alright. Let's go check in with Mordrag one last time and tell him he has a problem. And that problem is me. <laughs> and then, if that doesn't work, I'll figure something else out. Yes, a shave and a herrick cut. A seal or a horker. <laughs> if it's a horker, I don't want anything to do with it. Those guys are scary, man. You've seen those tusks on their face? Holy cow. Okay, so this is like the economy sector, basically. Like, you can get goods here. Then the arena is over here. The bed is there by the south gate. Then if you go past, it's just like the, the poor district, basically. And then it's the, the actual castle. All right, Mordrag. You have a problem. Really? What's that? There are people around here who want to get rid of you. Really? Then you can tell them they should send someone along to enforce their wish. What makes you so sure I'm not the one to do it? Because <laughs> I think you're smarter than that, boy. You'll soon realize that there are better opportunities than working for Gomez. We, too, need capable people in the new camp. And nobody tells you what to do. Hmm. Tell me more about the new camp. It's the camp where you have the most freedom within the colony. We don't have any ore barons or gurus bossing us around. We have our own mine, but the ore that is produced there isn't given to the damn king. So, so what is it used for? Yeah, what do you our guys do Our magicians are working on a plan to break out of here. All the ore is collected for this plan. While Gomez and his people are lazing around, we drudge for freedom. That's what's going on. Huh. Okay. And if I wanted to join the new camp, could you help me? If you're serious, we can go now. I can take you to Laris. He is the head of our gang. But if you prefer mm. to beat me out of the camp, well, go for it. <laughs> I don't think that's going to actually happen. Um, actually, you know what? This seems like a good place to call it a day. So... Next time, on Gothic, the stream edition, we'll talk to Mordrag again, and we'll head over to the new camp, now that we've sort of explored the entirety of the old camp. We'll see what those guys uh, have to offer to us. T Cooker, or is Twitch chat bugging out again? I'm seeing both of you guys' messages okay, so I'm not sure if... It could just be Twitch chat bugging out again. 
Not 100% sure. If it's Streamlabs, like if the chat box is buggy on my screen, I'm sorry, I, I can't see that part. But anyway, yes. So, we'll head to the new camp on, and see what they've got over there. See if they're a little bit more friendly to newcomers and don't have some crazy cast system going on. On the next episode Let me pass. of, uh, sorry, <laughs> Gothic, the stream edition. Could go with a new blind game. Tabeltus, thanks for the 50 bits. And thanks for the support there for that, because I uh, have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm sure I'll get it eventually. So we'll, we'll just keep going till I have some understanding of how this game works. I have the mechanics down okay at this point. I don't think I'm great at fighting yet, but we'll, we'll get there. Anyway, yes. So thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate you coming out to Twitch and YouTube to check out the stream. Um, there will not be a stream tomorrow, but I will post tomorrow evening. Uh, when the streams for next week will happen. The next stream is going to be on Sunday um, at 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, like usual. So, until then, everybody, take care, and have a good night.